Hi, in this video I'll show you how to divide text into several columns inside of cargo grids. We won't be using three columns, there uh, will be only two columns instead. So this piece of text will be divided automatically. Ok, let's start. This is my website and uh, first let me show you the structure. So we have two columns with this layout, uh, with some padding and also a single column on mobile enabled. Let me show you first how to achieve three column layout using cargo tools. Well, I'm going to copy this um, page and yeah, so I can simply add one more column, move this part here and uh, probably approximately this part here. But the problem with that, uh, I don't know how to divide them because I can I, I don't know how many uh, elements do I have inside. So yeah, this is the first flow. Uh, I don't know really how to divide them uh, equally. So maybe like that. This is a pretty annoying. Uh, so it's it much better when it's divided for you automatically. So okay, let's say uh, I'm gonna keep it like that. And uh, let me show you how it looks on mobile. So on mobile, we have a uh, too large gap here. Let's say uh, here is uh, our normal gap between paragraphs and this one has some extra space. This is not okay. Let's say if you have long text, uh, it would be looking weird because uh, all these gaps are not the same. And talking about gaps also, this part is slightly, um, well, it should be slightly uh, less than this one. So this piece of text would be looking more solid uh, as if it were there. So this gap is larger than this one. It makes sense because this is a, like one element and this is another element. So that's only uh, one thing which can we can achieve with cargo grids. But let me show you an alternative way. So uh, first of all, you need to find this element into your HTML. Open your code view and find your text. This is the beginning of this text. Don't mind any B tag or break tags because this is uh, it stands for bold. This one is for breaks. Uh, the, the thing you need to find is first div tag. So this is the beginning of your text and this is the first div tag you see. And this is our beginning of our element and this is the end of our element. It starts with div tag and it closes with div tag. So uh, what do you need to do? You need to add a custom class name here. You see a name of the tag and some attributes and somewhere inside them uh, or here doesn't matter. You can say class equals and then your class name. You can name it however you want. Let's say I'm going to call it to uh, call text. Uh, you can also use other names, but just don't use numbers or symbols at the beginning of your name. So, okay, this part is ready. Let me copy the name and to style it, you need to go to CSS editor. Then you can, uh, you need to type dot and then your class name. That's how we call classes and add some simple CSS column count two. That's how I can divide this two, uh, this text into two columns automatically, or let's say three. So you can define the number of columns here. This is pretty easy. And let's say now let's deal with this gap. Uh, this is another property column gap. Let's say 30 pixels. Yeah. So now uh, it's fine, but maybe one more a thing is text align justify. Now it looks like real columns. So that's what I wanted to achieve. And uh, let's check mobile version. Here we have we still have two columns. If you are okay with that, you can keep it like that. But uh, let me show you how to change it just in case you want uh, on mobile, you want to have only one column. Uh, to call all mobile devices, you need to say media screen screen and max width 770 pixels open curvy braces and inside of them paste the same lines of code so not that you have two curvy braces at the end one for this part and one for this part 
So uh, let's say, uh, let me, yeah, switch to mobile. Uh, so you can change this number to one, but I recommend you to uh, use unset if you want to use only one column. So this one we don't need and this thing we can change to left as it was before. So now uh, we can control our mobile devices and desktop devices, not depending on each other. So you see now that on desktop, we still have our columns. And also this is a 717. This is a cargo basic uh, breakpoint, but you'd better check how it looks on your website. You can uh, go to inspect and resize your browser and see when your layout changed to mobile. So, well, I'm pretty sure that Cargo used 717 for all websites, but you'd better check. Okay, well, uh, this thing is ready. Let me show you one more uh, thing. Let's say I want to add one more column to this structure. And when I click columns and add one third column, you now see that this structure is ruined. What happened? So if you go to your code view, you now see that uh, our div tag doesn't have any custom class. So it happens because every time you work with your element, Cargo rewrites its code. And so uh, therefore some of your custom attributes or classes or IDs can be removed. So be careful. And to fix it, you just need to add it once again. And uh, to prevent this problem, just uh, use code only after other things are done. So uh, to call text. Yeah, this is kind of small for two columns, but anyway. So let me know if this video uh, was useful and uh, what other videos you want me to make. Goodbye.